Count Cockula, and I want to suck your cock uh, blood! <laughs> Welcome to the Howard TV Halloween Special. Tonight, you will see some of the most terrifying Halloween activities ever! Like a black midget who's terrified of non-existent ghosts. A pair of costume-clad homos roaming the streets of New York City. And Gary the Retard attempting to carve a pumpkin! Let's join four of the Stern Show's finest gentlemen at a haunted penitentiary in Philadelphia. <sighs> Opened in 1829, Eastern State Penitentiary revolutionized the structure of inmate rehabilitation through its original concept of using solitary confinement to promote true penance, leaving prisoners to suffer their crimes in lonesome silence. The result? 12 acres of haunted terrain in Center City, Philadelphia. Now, a historic and incredibly popular site for tens of thousands who take tours and visit the haunted house each year, Eastern State's history of horror and darkened silence has certainly not been lost. And in October 2007, three of the Howard Stern Show's bravest characters and a basement-dwelling comedian attempted to traverse this unholy land. But before they do, Let's check in with our guys to see how they're feeling about the daunting task that lies ahead. I'm expecting me or Beetlejuice to shit ourselves. <laughs> One of us is gonna shit ourselves at the end of the night for sure. And I'm hoping it's him. I don't know, I figured I'd see some scary jail cells. I don't know, maybe see some witches or something. I don't know, I don't know, maybe see some uh, old jail, some uh, ghosts or something. Uh, My place is more better. I like the place on it. I like it. I've been to it. Everybody else been to it, so. It's all right. What's my fears? I don't like fucking ghosts. I don't fucking spook scare me and ghosts scare me and all that shit. Halloween fucking scares me. I don't like any of this shit. I did, I did, due to the fact that I'm an atheist and um, uh, I don't believe in God, I don't believe believe in goblins, I don't believe in ghosts. I'm really scared of ghosts and stuff because one time when I was a little kid, this ghost was grabbing my crotch. Ghosts is an always sister. Hey, it's no problem, nobody's scared of it. Hey, I've been doing it all the time. The only one that I could plausibly foresee being scared in the least would be the great, Fatal juice. I think Bob will. How come? Because he's scared. He's a scaredy cat? He's scared of cat. <laughs> That's what his wife told me he's scared. Huh? What? I don't know. I love it. I love the way it is, and I do. So you're ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right, let's do this then. Oh, I love it. I'm ready to do it, brother. So with their expectations laid out and their fears addressed, the not-so-fantastic foursome began to make their way to the front gate. Morning. 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 You first. I got to be. I'm not first. You first. All right, guys. Well, welcome to the Eastern State Penitentiary. My name's Fran. I'm the site manager here. I'm going to show you guys around uh, for a little bit tonight in the dark. Hope you're not too scared of any uh, accidents or anything. Yeah, me, you all right? I'm, I'm not scared. You're the one scared. I'm not scared. Yes, you are. Look at you shaking. You're Look looking a little scared. He's scared, not me. I am scared. Uh, uh, Beetle was here. Beetle was here with a a a a a a So he's not. Nah. I have a feeling the ghosts are gonna be scared tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ghosts better watch out. I did that actually, brother. Yeah. Are you guys ready to head inside and see some real good yeah, stuff? Yeah, let's go see yeah. some. All right, let's go. 
So this place is pretty old, guys. It opened way back in 1829, before this area was even Philadelphia, and it stayed open until 1971. So it was in operation for 142 years, and now it just sits here, um, semi-abandoned in the middle of Philadelphia. So uh, there's a lot of ghost stories about this place. Al Capone was here, some other famous people. So a lot went on inside this building. It's actually a very, very famous place, National Historic Landmark. So we got a lot of things going inside here today, including a haunted house called Terror Behind the Walls. So let me go check out some of the creepier stuff inside. Now this cell over here in cell block eight is the one time home of Al Capone. You guys all know who Al Capone is? Beal, you know Al Capone? Uh, right. Nice. Um, so he was here in 1929. It was the first time Capone was in prison. He spent eight months here at Eastern State. If you look at his cell, it's a little nicer than the other ones you're gonna see. Not everyone had it so good as Mr. Capone. There must have been something fishy going on with him. Better than the here. fucking bed I have in the basement. <laughs> So now we're in the center of the entire prison. From here you can understand how the radial plan works. It's a very famous prison design that originated here at Eastern State. I need a volunteer, Beetle. Sure. Why don't you come over here. See this circle in the middle of the room? Sure. Why don't you stand in that circle, turn around, and tell me what you see from that spot. Uh, what I see from the spot. Mm. What's over there? I can't see. <laughs> I can't tell. It's true, you can't see anything from this spot. No, that's not true. You can see everything from the spot. All the cell blocks come off of this spot. So a guard would stand where you are, and all you had to do was turn around and see everything that was happening inside of the building. Right. The first place to use a design like this, caught on all over the world, and prisons built today are still built on this design. Real pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Well, one thing's for sure. This group seems primed to learn. And after starting to get the lay of this torturous land, they soon found out that one of them had already done some hard time at Eastern State. So far, it's all right. You know what? Beetle wasn't lying. Remember he said he was in here? Look at this. There he is right there. <laughs> Beetle, is that you? Yeah, I wasn't yeah. lying to you. Because you said you were you in here. Yeah, I wasn't lying to you. Do I look like I'm lying to you now? No. You're here for killing the guy? Oh, yeah, definitely. What'd you do to him? Well, you don't want to know. How'd you kill him? You don't want to know. Hey, you I ain't want gonna to tell you. So nobody can do anything here? I wouldn't wrong. tell you. I ain't going to tell you. You got to learn it for yourself. You cut his throat? Probably. What the fuck was that? Wait a minute. I heard something. Did you hear it? Am I fucking nuts? Like a oh, rustling? I heard something in the back that way. No, I'm telling you, I heard something. There's a guy, uh, the guy Jess. No, Jess. no, that was that way. Uh, that way? How can you hear something that way? Because I listen. Yeah, okay. I'm telling I heard something. Okay. You think it is? I don't know. Well, you're not scared? I'm not scared. You the one scared. I'd never be scared. <laughs> Visibly shaken early on, perhaps this motley crew isn't as tough as we had originally thought. With much more haunted terrain ahead, only time will tell if they can handle the ghastly confines of this prison tour. Well, apparently we've picked quite the all-star crew of intellectuals to tour a historical landmark. But enough of that for now. Let's join two sexually questionable morons on Halloween night in New York City! Blah, blah, blah! Benji Bunny. And I'm Richard the Fairy. We're here on the streets of New York to interview people for Halloween. Halloween is different in New York. It's, it's not like it is in the average American town. There's a lot of partiers out, the kids are in bed, a lot of crazy people, and we're gonna go see what they're up to. And I want to spread the message that Halloween isn't just for white people. Halloween is for all races, black, white, Asian, Puerto Rican. It's not just for white people, and we're gonna let people know that. And it's for all sexual preferences. So we're gonna go talk to people of different race and sexual preference about Halloween. Let's go celebrate Halloween, come on. Happy Halloween. So what have you guys been up to tonight? Not much, just getting ready. Are you guys, are you guys gay? Yes. Are you guys a couple? No. No? You're not a gay bunny? What's that? You're not a gay bunny? A Benji bunny. A what bunny? A Benji bunny, I'm just a cute bunny. You are cute. But you're not, you're not a couple. We're not. No. Are you interested? You keep asking. No. I think you are. I, I'm not. I'm serious. I mean, I'm I not. He's kind of a bear. He 
is a bear. He's a bunny bear. <laughs> What's a bear? A bear is like a, a fat, hairy gay guy. So you a fat guy can do well in the gay community? And there oh, yeah. is an owl for that. Now is your girls like the bears. Some guys do. Is your gay dar picking up on him any? Or? Well, he keeps asking if we're together, so I'm wondering why. No, I'm <laughs> well, I got a quick question. Yes. Top or bottom? Versatile. Versatile as well. Oh, cool. Are you a top or a bottom? Uh, I'm both too, but I'm not gay. Hey, look look what we have over here. Oh, here's some Can interesting we talk to you guys? people. Can we talk to you guys? What would Hi. you like to talk about? Hello, darling. Stand back. What's your names? We'll have Slice Bunny for lunch. <laughs> I'm delicious. I'm Portia. My name is Todd. What makes you delicious, delicious? Her boy. flavor. <laughs> what does delicious taste like? Appetizer, dessert. But mostly. You guys are dressed as women. Do you ever meet a guy, take him home, and don't tell him that you're actually biologically a man? Of course not. Of course I, would never I do, do that. that. I would never do that. Of course I do I that. I do that all the time. You do? Do you, do you end up? What happens when that happens? I always tell a man I'm a girl. I take him home, and you want to suck my cock. And then what happens when you rip <laughs> yours out? How? When you want to suck my cock, I tell him, oh, honey, there's only one woman in the room, and that's me. And How I know big him, is so your let me cock? ask a question. Party size. Have you guys Party ever size. tried something like a rusty trombone? Or? What? She dropped on the floor. Have you ever seen her drop yeah. on the floor? Get down, bitch. Get down and do it. Get down, bitch. Do what you told. Get down there, baby. Do it. Get down, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> baby, take it. You, know, you always hear about guys having a hair. Yeah, yeah, man. What would Jesus? What would Jesus say about that? It figures you send two guys with cameras out on the streets of New York City, and they only talk to queers. Oh well, it's time to get back to Beetlejuice and the rest of our crew on their haunted tour. Blah blah. When we last left this fearsome foursome, the tour of Eastern State was in its infancy. But Bob Levy had already gotten a case of the heebie-jeebies, more frightening than the thought of living in your ex-wife's basement in South Jersey. So in order to gain some more insight into this creepy compound, the fellas had some questions for our tour guide, Fran. Can I pull my pants down? Hell no. What if you got caught masturbating? That's yeah, an interesting you question. Get what caught. Um, was there was actually good? a whole thing about that. They called it the solitary vice. Um, and they believed that it drove people insane. So they were very anti-masturbation here. So, really? I mean, but I can't imagine you'd want to if you're locked inside a cell for three years with no one else. I mean, why would you want to masturbate? If you all want, I can take you up to cell block 12, which is normally closed to the public. There's no lights up there. It's a little darker, a little creepier. So, Ooh, I'm scared. Oh, Ooh. You'll eat your words. This is said to be the most haunted cell block in the prison. It's, uh, it's about as old as some of the other cell blocks. It opened in 1911. But apparently some of the most dangerous guys in Houston State were kept here, so maybe they left a little something behind for us. Now, I don't really believe in ghosts. You know, I work here all the time. There's not too many things here about this place that really creep me out. However, I did have one really scary experience in this place one time. I was downstairs on one of the lower levels one day, and I walked up here, and I looked down this cell block, see all these doors here, and every single one of them was open. I walked down the steps, came back just a couple minutes later, knowing that no one had been up here, because I was at the bottom of the steps, came back up, and every door was closed just a couple minutes later. I didn't hear a noise, no one came through, and there's 40 doors in the cell block, and they're rusty and they're not easy to move, and no one would have been able to do that in this short period of time. It bugged me out, it's really the only time I ever kind of got creeped out inside of this place, so. If you guys want to go check out some of the cells, you're welcome to go sit at, sit in any of them. Not me. No. Why not? Are you scared? <laughs> You've been here. No, 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 I'm going to go. I'll go after you. You're the leader. I'm not the leader. You're the leader, boss. I'm not the boss. No, you got to go first. I'm not going. No, you got to, you got to. Oh, you're <laughs> good. Come on. Come on. Uh, 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 I'm not afraid of any stinking ghost. Fuck you, ghost. Last cell on the right. Said to be extra haunted. You ready for a beetle? Yeah. Lead the way, man. Yeah, I'm not gonna come, come on. on. Yeah, you're so, you're the, the leader, you have to lead. Right, let's go. <laughs> That's not a no, no, I'm right behind you. I got your back. I got your back. No, I, I got your back. I promise you. I'm right here. No. Come on, one over one sideways. You ready? Come on. I got you. I don't know what You scared? Come on. Yeah, I'm scared. You're scared? Come on. Yeah, I'm scared. All right. 
I'll, I'll make sure it doesn't happen. Come on. Yeah, okay. I didn't know that. What? Just follow me. <laughs> You're the bravest guy here. Hey, I'm right behind. Let's go. I'm scared. Come on, Manuel. Let's go. I'm scared. Come on. Come on. Your name. Sorry. Yeah. Come on. I'm scared. Manuel, I got. I got your back. Come on up. I'm up. afraid, dude. Me and you, brother. It's scared, dude. Come on, you ready? I don't know what it is. Man. All right, go that way. Scared, dude. I'm nervous. I'm scared, dude. That's all right. You're the leader, man. You ain't gonna be scared. No. It, 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 I'm very scared. You probably knew now. It's TV, man! <laughs> While Kenneth Keith is able to see humor in this historic land of tortured souls, it appears as though our main man, Beat, is losing bravery by the minute. <laughs> what a bunch of pussies! What's the matter, boys? You can't handle a little darkness? I've handled Snatch darker than that. <laughs> Speaking of vagina, let's go back to our little fairy and bunny rabbit and see if they finally found some. Now, Jessica, you, you are what I think girls should do on Halloween. Dress sexy, a little, a little, a little in a cat outfit, you show some skin. I think this is the ultimate Halloween outfit. I think so. Now, uh, do you feel less inhibited on Halloween that you can be really sexual and free and have sex and intercourse and things like that? Probably not because I do it every Saturday, Friday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, <laughs> every day of the week. It's nothing new. This is great. What's your name, man? Louie. Louie, we found someone in Chinatown that's gonna celebrate Halloween with us. Happy, happy Halloween! Happy, 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 happy Halloween. Halloween! Happy, happy uh, Halloween! So, Halloween. Louis, Halloween. tell us about your costume. I just, I don't know uh, when. What are you up to now on Halloween evening? Home? Like, where, where, which way's home? Trick or treating? Uh, no. I'm, uh, I'm on Mercy. Can we come with you? Not really. I, I don't think. I don't. I don't think so. Wow! If I was that confused Asian man, I would have ripped their cocks off. Now let's go back to the haunted prison and see if anybody's finally grown a pair of balls. Blah. Now it's almost midnight. It's a full moon tonight. Did you guys know it was full I moon tonight? Yeah. It's pretty creepy. It's big up there in the sky. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna leave you guys now alone in one of our scariest cells. If you think you can handle it, I mean, if you're not tough enough, then I guess we don't have to. Okay. But, but you, I mean, you already said you want to. So hey, you're in. you guys all in? I'm not loving you. You're not gonna shit your pants again? No. Wait, can I do this over here? Look. <laughs> With a challenge issued, it was time for the guys to meet Eastern States demons head on. However, there was a certain red-headed redneck lurking in the prison's shadows. All right, Richard Christie here. I'm in a dark room in the bowels of Eastern State Penitentiary. I'm waiting for Beetle and Bob Levy, John the Stutterer, and Kenneth Keith to go into it one of the cells, one of the abandoned cells, and I'm in a secret room behind that cell. I'm gonna start making noise, and hopefully it's gonna scare the shit out of me. Yo, oh. stop doing that, dude. The fuck What's you What's that sound? You hear that sound? What's that sound? That's him doing that. Oh. Oh. What the fuck is that? What's that sound? What's that, B? Uh oh. Stop scaring me. But what is it? Stop scaring me, dude. The Kenneth, whoa. Whoa. 
out of here, dude. I don't know what the fuck it is. What is that? I don't know. What the look? No. Hey, wait, I'll, 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 I'll go look it and, and, and I'll tell, and, and, and I'll come back and tell them we'll, Why don't you guys go look and find out what it is? What it is, yeah. I'm scared, dude. I'm scared. Let me do it. You're scaring me, guys. You're scared. Yeah, <laughs> catch an heart attack, dude. Seriously, man, I'm having a heart attack, dude. Something that the fact that bear hit me in my butt bag that tried to grab me. With the mighty beetle battling the swirling ghosts around him, it seems as though our pint-sized buddy may have had enough of the haunted hijinks. Let's see if our tough little guy truly is as bad as can. Well, things are not looking good for our little beetle man, but at least he's not as dumb as that bumbling reverend comedian guy. <laughs> Speaking of retards, have you ever wondered how one would do at carving a pumpkin? Well, I certainly have. So now let's go to our main man, Gary, as he attempts to create his own retarded jack-o'-lantern. Hi, I'm Gary Retard. I'm gonna carve a pumpkin. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna leave this on the market. Might take me a little time to get it done, but just take my time, get it done right. <laughs> ooh, uh, uh, ooh. Got some shit on my hands. <laughs> and one eye, one nose. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. God damn it. Oh, well, fuck it. Mm. Okay, time to cut this son of a bitch. You ready? Cut it up. I was gonna love this shit. Beetlejuice is an asshole. <laughs> 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 Poor pumpkin. Oh shit, the back end. <laughs> Bye, asshole. This is gonna be the fun part. Come on, you wanna get smart with me, asshole? Come on. Uh, uh, <laughs> now that good about it? Yeah. Time to dig the guts out. <laughs> Don't do it like me, baby. Boobies. You fucking retard! Hey, we'll put the top on it and light it outside. Walk out with it. Like <laughs> we get it on there. <laughs> now we're gonna walk outside with it. <laughs> yep. Happy Halloween, everybody! Yay! When we last left Beetle and the gang, he was so scared he almost shit his pants in fear. But he does that all the time anyway. You get the point. So let's rejoin our little man and see how this adventure turns out. Bleh! Damn, man, he really is scaring me, dude. Did you hear that noise back there? I heard something. I thought it was, that was you. No, uh, the chemist and I went, went to, back to check the noise and something grabbed my leg. The, 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 the chemist is gone. He, uh, he, well, this we gotta get out of here soon, man. Man, he hasn't come back. Right, dude? What? What's that? You alright, buddy? What? You alright? No, I'm not alright, dude. Alright, you wanna sit down? 
<laughs> no, I'm catching all the time, bro. No, you're not. How do you know? You don't know that. Come on, let's go have a cigarette. You take a deep breath. Yeah. Just relax. Come on. We're fine. Let's go. Let's go. This is Kenneth. It's just Kenneth. Come on, man. Stop fucking around like that, dude. I'm serious, man. I'm really scared now. Stop. Uh, you want to have to go have a quick cigarette? Huh? You're scaring me, dude. Seriously. All right, Pete, you want to come and have a cigarette? <coughs> Take a break. Huh? Take yeah. A, let's go have a cigarette. Come on. Come on. Let's go out in the front. What? Well, come on, just relax. You okay? What are you scared? He's only fucking around with the thing. Come on. We were in that uh, haunted cell and we got a little freaked out. And then Beatles, like, he needs to relax because I had to go out and see, check on my car. I, did, I left my lights on. And what happened? I don't know. He's. What happened? Could have had a heart attack in there, dude. He doesn't like it. It's scary in there? Uh, yeah, it looks a little scary, yeah. Beetle, I'm not do you staying in the room. No, Beetle, do you think all four of us can stay in that room until midnight? That's you. That's you and him, not me. Oh, you're not going to do it? No. You had enough of this? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely have a heart attack. What, that yeah. fucking, uh, what scared you the most? Was it that cell? That last cell? That last cell, yeah, it scares me, yeah. You don't want to go near that cell again, huh? Nah. I'm really nervous right now, man. Yeah? You see them, don't you? Oh, yeah. What'd you see? I saw one guy breathing on me, too. Really? I'm not kidding. It's scary in there, huh? Yeah, it's scary. Man. It's a lot scarier than you thought it would be, right? Yeah, it is scary, dude. I'm really nervous. Man. Well, the mighty beat may have fallen short in the bravery department, but with its dark halls, mysterious noises, and haunted backdrop, Eastern State Penitentiary is by no means a walk in the park. Let's find out what our guys thought of their nocturnal adventure. I'm real glad you guys came down here to Eastern State Penitentiary tonight. I think we had some fun, got a little creepy, a little intense at times or whatever. So what did you guys think? Good time? Yeah. It was good. Yeah. I mean, uh, it was it was good time, buddy. It was a little fucking kicking. Because look, there was a ghost that was I'll, grabbing his shirt and tried to stab him. I heard him. He heard oh, yeah. He had an axe, right? Yeah. He was trying to get you. Look, look at his shirt. Oof, oof. Look, look at his shirt, how it's tugged here. Look at that. Tugging. That's he was grabbing it. it. You got lucky. Consider yourself lucky, Beetle. <laughs> got oh, out, yeah. buddy. That's how I to ran out of there. <laughs> So you're gonna enjoy sleeping here tonight? Hell no. Oh, you're not gonna? Hell no. We got your room already, though. You said you were gonna stay. I'm not staying there. You crazy? Why? Are you out of your mind? It's a successful evening. Ah! 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 Motherfucker. You motherfucker. <laughs> oh, you made me shit. You scared me, you scared me. You scared him. You ain't scared me. I didn't scare you. Ah! Ah! Yeah, yeah, right. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so you think you had a real experience with a ghost tonight? Oh yeah, it was real. What specifically were these ghosts trying to do to you? Oh, they tried to kill me. How so? What, what were some One of them was grabbing my shirt, trying to grab me. No one should be trying to trick me. No one can do it. You see, all's well that ends well. Except for that comedian guy who has to go back to his ex-wife's basement. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed the Howard TV Halloween special. Good night, Stern fans. <laughs> Can I get us uh, some water? Oh, thanks. Oh. oh, thank God. How's your heart, Bill? Oh, my heart almost died, nigga. I am freaked out. I'm so freaked out, I think I just shit myself. Ah, 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 Hello, 
Howard Stern. I want to suck your cock. Blah, 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 blah. I can't open up and open ghost man. The motherfucker almost trying to kill my shirt. He almost died me. I thought you could beat up a ghost, though. Yeah, okay. Why don't you beat him up? <laughs> that tiny, cute little cock. My nose hairs are so scary because I haven't clipped my nose hairs in months. All around the head. And then the testicles. 